to uh, emphasize two key elements of why I think Eurofighters uh, are really effective in the Finnish environment. And one's going to talk about survivability, and then what we call double AAD, so anti access or area denial, contested, congested environment, which is clearly uh, what is potentially the situation in Finland. I'm going to talk about capabilities that we deliver right now, as well as uh, what we will deliver in the 2025 and beyond time frame to meet and beat those emerging threats in this environment, which are the same threats that we in the UK, Germany, Spain, Italy look to match and beat um, in the future. And I'll bring that through, I'll illustrate that largely through two videos that uh, give you a little snapshot of capabilities. They're unclassified clearly and the concepts are somewhat simplified, but you'll see the sorts of capabilities that Eurofighter delivers conjunction with those weapons that allows you to have those uh, capabilities of survivability and reshaping the battle space. So a key part of that, and this is a, a technology that's in the aircraft right now, is the very high situational awareness that the aircraft delivers to the pilot, both in terms of information in the head of display uh, to give you information around mobile or pop-up threats, as well as fixed threats, but also uh, in the helmet. So in a wide field of view uh, display helmet, have really uh, a great uh, uh, ability to uh, uniquely deliver a range of information. And then something we call CCMs, Coordinated Countermeasures, again a uniquely uh, feature or unique feature of the Eurofighter that pulls together not just delivering warnings about threats, but given the pilot cues as to how and where to maneuver and uh, automatically electronic defense aids as well as expendables all automatically coordinated, making the aircraft extremely survivable. So it's not just one layer of defensive system, not one element that a pilot uh, uh, depends on, but his survivability is built around multiple layers of defense, multiple ways of surviving against a wide variety of threats. I mentioned the coordinating countermeasures, uh, a range of um, uh, expendables that you can uh, uh, deploy, so really giving you a lot of uh, persistence in the battle space, so you don't only get a few iterations of uh, defensive aid, but a, a large variety. And a key element is the bright cloud as well, which is this, you'll see in the video, a small expendable active decoy, a small digital jammer that gives great uh, end game survivability if those earlier layers have been, and of uh, defenses have been uh, uh, appealed. As well as electronic countermeasures on board, off board in the tone mm -hmm. radar decoy, uh, as well as um, the uh, ability of the radar to do uh, uh, warfare as well. And then not only defenses, but the ability to rapidly uh, target, locate and target threats that are coming at you with their mobile systems, fixed systems, or even man launch systems. And then whether that's using the brimstone in, in operation right now, or the spear in the near term. So you can rapidly target, and you'll see that in the video, that you can precisely uh, locate threats and precisely uh, target them. Uh, you'll see elements that uh, give the pilot uh, awareness of launches. So whether it's a man-launched air defense, uh, man-launched uh, uh, portable air defense system, or a electronic system, then so both in the electro-optical and in the RF environment, the pilot will get awareness of the threats that are out there. The key to that is uh, the lightning fly uh, uh, pod, which uh, doesn't just do laser designation, but actually gives you really uh, great high resolution, full color information into the cockpit. And this video now, shortly, will show you the sorts of threats that we're talking about. So a, a portable uh, radar target um, system, you'll look at some of the capabilities. So this is the pilot's view through the helmet, getting a, a rapid uh, indication of the threat, head down, you get a, uh, uh, an, an indication of where the threat is, immediately the system will start doing some onboard jamming, towed radar decoy will come out, starting to deploy the threat. Changing threat levels in cockpit and in the audio as well, so the pilot knows the level of threat out there, is the system targeting me or just seeing me, and as the system goes into a launch mode, then again, an increased response from your fighter that gives the pilot very high survivability. So very high awareness of the sort of threats that are out there. The system tells you it's going to jam the threat, and it's telling you that onboard systems are effectively jamming, giving the pilot a cue to maneuver, as I talked about. So all of these are unique capabilities in the aircraft right now. 
making the pilot's workload very easy. He can decide whether to avoid to maneuver or not. Uh, indications of the expendable active decoys being deployed. Chaff. This is the Bright Cloud, new uh, expendable active decoy, combat proven uh, off the tornado and in trials on Typhoon right now. A follow up maneuver to aggress or to maneuver away from the threat. All of these sort of capabilities giving you that many layered defense that really makes Typhoon and Eurofighter very survivable in those sort of theaters. Having avoided the threat, then a key element is uh, being able to rapidly uh, target the threat. Whether the automatic target recognition and location for radio for radar emitting threats, or it could be, as you'll see shortly, for uh, purely through electronic means. And weapons such as the Brimstone give you a very precise, uh, very discreet uh, response that uh, we're using to good effect uh, over Syria right now. So that's a, a radar uh, or an electric warfare threat. Clearly, uh, there's some very uh, capable and uh, lethal man-launched portable air defense systems that you need to have an awareness of. So this is an indication of the sorts of uh, cockpit warnings that a pilot would get from that. And then a, a sort of cue through the helmet, so they're looking through the pilot's wide foot of your helmet, he gets a, a very clear cue of where the threat is, so that he can rapidly respond to that threat, whether it's through uh, black flares or conventional flares, decoying the threat, and then because you've got that helmet, that queuing system, you can very rapidly uh, uh, put a brimstone or another weapon, one of the many different flexible weapons you've got, back down range to counter that threat. So many layers of defense, many layers of rapidly targeting and uh, meeting uh, portable systems. So that's a, the survivability element of, of Typhoon. I want to really now uh, talk about the more kind of strategic threats that uh, you face in the Finnish environment. So again, a simplistic uh, view, but you'll see multiple layers of strategic surface-to-air missile systems and how the Eurofighter will allow you to, uh, to locate those, to uh, detect and, and get precise weapons coordinates, and how the Spear 3 capability, that smart standoff new weapon that you can see outside, gives you the ability to uh, overwhelm and, uh, and reshape that battle space. So a very exciting capability for us, the Spear weapons in development right now. We've already done initial trials, so the first release from Eurofighter was done in May 2016 uh, in the UK. Uh, but the weapon is being continuously evolved, and as well as a strike capability with a multi-effect warhead and very precise target location capability, there's an electronic warfare attack capability that allows you to do stand-in jamming. So both uh, electronic attack capabilities and suppression capabilities on the aircraft, but also you can do stand-in jamming with, um, with the spear. And on Eurofighter, you can carry up to 12 spears, as well as six air-to-air -air missiles, on one platform. So you're developing, you're delivering huge weapons mass. And for Finn, Finland, I think that's really important in this theatre that you have a great deterrent capability and ability to deliver great mass, but also a broad range of effects from these multi use weapons. Other uh, elements uh, that uh, make Typhoon very survival or effective in this theatre is the, the way that information will be presented. So we have uh, a current means of uh, displaying surface-to-air missile threat systems in cockpit. In the near future, the intent is to have these sorts of visual indications in the helmet. With Striker 2 being full color and digital, it gives you a lot of flexibility to show effects of the system, perhaps suppressing the, the uh, missile engagement zone, which will be indicated by uh, yellow, as well as active threats that remain red. So across the inside the aircraft and across your formation, across the coalition, you have a clear uh, electronic order of battle, a clear recognized air picture of what the threats are out there and how effective your, uh, your system is.